What is up, YouTube? This is the Keller 101 here. Also known throughout the interwebs as Ethan Everhart, and we are back with XCOM 2, picking up immediately right where we left off. Why so fast, you ask? Because XCOM is just too much fun to not play. So, when we left off, we we're about to see what kind of supplies these guys had in store for us. It's five days, but. Three, two, one. And strategic got it. resource located. The shell of a bombed out service depot for for aircraft is all that remains of this area. After putting some effort into the, the extract excavation, we were able to recover materials from inside the Oh, oh wait no. Oh, that is. Um I don't think I wanna fly back. Or do I? No, I don't. Oh wait, yeah, we do. Because there's nothing else we can do to pass Setting time. course for Sector 13, South Africa. So now we're gonna gain a little intel. Or not? Let's view the room. Got 36 supplies. So now, what can we do? Unstaffed engineer. So we've got all right, alien debris, alien machinery, alien machinery, machinery, exposed power coil. The power coils give additional power. So I kind of want to get down to them fast, but there's room for us to expand our facilities on board the Avenger, Commander. But we'll need more engineers to clear out space for construction first. Um, that's gonna take 20 days. Wait, how long does everything take? 20 days, 20 days, 12 days, 21 days, 14 days. And how long will it take to clear this out? 35? Ooh, 35 supplies. Will take five days. And over here. Twenty-six supplies, five days as well. Uh no. We're gonna clear out this room. Only takes five days. In excavation. Move back down here. We passed the time. One day. Two days. Good. I do not think I could have predicted this outcome, though it is intriguing. Really? Although conceptually, the idea of establishing a radio-based communication system for the purposes of organizing a resistance movement is nothing new. <laughs> really? Harkening back to any number of Earth's previous wars, what we hope to accomplish here is no, still no small task. The aliens are particularly adept at detecting our signals, with a vast array of technology and resources at their, their disposal. However, working in close collaboration with Chief Engineer Shen, we've begun to salvage some of the aliens' own communications equipment from within the Avenger itself. Why is there alien equipment in the Avenger? Wait. Never mind, this used to be an alien ship. Never mind. From studying the surviving log files, we've discovered an astounding number of si simultaneous communications being distributed throughout their network at any, at any given time. Wait. Discovered... Okay, this has proven to be the key to our proposed solution. With so much traffic flowing through the alien network, it should be relatively easy to, for us to, to disguise our own transmissions among theirs. Using the Avenger as our central hub, we can establish a communications network linking resistance outposts around the globe. Every new con contact we establish should organize and strengthen the movement as a whole. Alright, so we've gotten resistance comms, resi resistance radio, and resistance contact available. So let's see what this resistance comms thing is. 
increases the number of regions we can make contact with. Okay? And further contacts can be gained by staffing an engineer here when construction is completed. Alright. Uh, that's what they want me to do next. Three days. Three days. So... Um, I'm gonna finish what I started. Um, I'll see that work begins immediately, Commander. I'll contact you when I have now a full let's proceed report with this. available. The Advent officers appear to be similar, if not physically the same as the common Advent trooper in terms of power and agility. However, field reports indicate a more developed mental acuity, as the officers do provide tactical directives to the subordinate Advent forces. Ooh. All right. I'll direct our efforts towards the new research project immediately, Commander. Once we've made progress, I'll send word. Tigan just sent word. The new resistance <laughs> communications network is fully operational. That was quick. Now we just have to spread the word. Spread the word, you say? But I thought everyone knew that the bird is the word. Oh, well, a bird, bad, bird. Bird is the word. Well, a bird, bad, bird. Bird is the word. I wish I knew the rest of this song. Except the bird is the word. Communication system are online. West Africa. East Africa. Now that we've established a link, we can use our intel resources to make contact with the local resistance cell in this region. Aside from getting us into the black site, our access to supplies should improve now that we've expanded our reach. That's nice. Alright. So how much intel does it require? 30 intel. After we pay the initial intel cost to make contact, we'll have to scan the region for a few days before the local resistance cell comes out of hiding. Once we find them, we'll be up and running in the new region. Alright. Setting course for the East African sector. Making contact with the region is essentially the same thing as... Commander, using intel collected so far, we've managed to locate a resistance cell operating out of this region. It'll take us some time to scan for their exact position, though. Okay. Making contact with the new region is essentially the same thing as uh, sending up a satellite. In, uh, well, this is the equivalent to... Making contact in a new region is the equivalency of sending up a satellite in the uh, previous XCOM. So, make contact with them. Five days. To Although we have allies scattered in cities throughout the globe who are willing to share their knowledge of Advent's operations, the aliens are actively pursuing them. It will be up to you to ensure the safety of our operatives, Commander. Good luck. Uh, see the mission. We have science and 115 intel. Okay, okay, we'll take your mission. Setting course for the South African sector. We were just there. I don't think it's even been a day. All right, all right. So what do we want to do? Let's grab the VIP. Um, Do we have a ranger? We do not. I would like a ranger. So for that, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to recruit two soldiers. Whoa. Oh, okay. That's better. And... Oh! Oh! Never mind. Wait. We're picking up an unsecured Which one transmission is it? from some clown calling Steve himself Taylor. Van Dorn. Oh, Doesn't I did sound got, like I the did kind of recruit we're classes. looking for. Oops. Oh, well. Steve Taylor. That's almost Steve Tyler. I think... Don't kill me on this, but Steve Tyler. Isn't the name of the guy from Aerosmith? Right? 
Or am I getting his name wrong? Don't kill me if I am. But let's get Catherine Palmer. William Williams. Okay, with a name like William, you sound really cool. But those shades do not make you look cool. I've got two soldiers now. Low intel. We're about to get more intel. Don't worry. Alright. Launch the mission. We're gonna get rid of a grenade. And a specialist. Send in the other workers. This is still considered an easy mission, so hopefully it is. Oh, yep, I got the nerd. I'm sorry, I know, I know it's not nice to stereotype people, but he kind of looks like ready to deploy. Alright, it's coming on at 10 o'clock here. Well, I started this at about, I think, 9.42, so we're coming up on about 20 minutes, I think. Like these, these episodes have been going on for about 40 minutes now. What's the, what the, what's the deal with glasses? The He's got glasses. Gave us the location He's got of a VIP stranded somewhere near our AO. He'd like us to secure the area, rendezvous with the target, and provide an escort out of there. I don't think the resistance would ask if it wasn't important. Yeah, I was about to say, he's asking a bit much, don't you think? Okay, if I can, I'm probably gonna make him lose the glasses. Oh, we got them again. And him again. He's the only difference, I guess. Or no, we took out two people. We just got a clone? Huh. Now, you miss. I don't know if you guys were watching that, but I said, like, uh, use grenades to shred armor from tougher units before attacking. Now this is something that's cool. So armor, I used to I used to think that it was just additional hit points. Now I realize so anything that has armor on it, if you hit that thing with armor, let's say you're, you're going to deal four damage. If it has two armor, two armor protects two of that damage and it only takes two damage to its hit points. But it keeps its armor. Then, yeah, I didn't quite get, I didn't quite understand shredding armor until I came up against the mechanized troops, which I hope we get mechanized troops. I hope that our units can get armor, because that would be cool. Do I have a time limit? Menace 1 5, target coordinates incoming. Secure the VIP and proceed to the evac volume for extraction. I have no timer. I'm Good. not a fighter, but there are other ways I could help. Advent already knows we're here, so your position isn't concealed for the extraction. Balls. Bollocks. Alright. Orders confirmed. On the move. In that case, everyone go on Overwatch. Heading there now. Scanning. Moving to position. Oh, there's a time limit. Okay, um. Moving to Overwatch. Damn. I was kind of hoping there was not a time limit. Good copy. Moving on target. Do I have enough time to actually make it all the way over there with... Okay, no, I'm gonna need to run at some point, so, uh... You run on up ahead. I'm on the move! To 
until we see a until we see aliens, we're gonna keep on running. Well, for the most part. Oh. Oops. Uh. No, 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 no. You stay back here. I thought that was her. Him. I thought that seemed a little far up to be running or be able to move one time. Let's, let's move you up to here. Closing on target position now. I'm gonna try and keep this from going too long, but um. Heading there now. Already it's going on about 20 minutes, so... For full cover? Copy that! Oh, I still have one more person. Sorry, I kind of right forgot about you. Set him on over. Moving to Overwatch. Shh. I think I heard something. Got some ammo here. New cover. Okay, who are you killing? Oh, watch out! No. He just walked right in front of the, the, the gunfire. What the? Really, dude? Dude's got balls. Of steel, apparently. Or apparently his head is made of steel. Alright, so where do we want to move to? Uh... Ooh, there, that looks nice. Position confirmed. Balls, there are more We've units. Got here. Oh, if they're running and all of a sudden they kind of like, <laughs> and then keep going, it means they spotted more units. Ooh. What do we get if we hack this? Concealment? Soldier... No! I... Ah. Accidentally right click, which is, says, go back, go back. But... I saw 41%. Which is not good enough. Can you launch it? How big can you make that explosion? Ooh. Wait. Wait. I had it. There we go. Blowing up him and his cover. What was that? Oh, yeah. I want to move up to kill you. Maybe I should use a grenade over there instead. Or what is that? Stop, stop, stop moving. Yeah, I probably could have used a grenade. Alright, alright, so we got you. How do you move? 
two up here. Position confirmed. And you move up here. Rolling. I think she might be flanking him. I don't know. But she'll certainly have better aim now. Here. Yep, flanking. Please hit him this time. Thank you. Thank you. You are competent. Alright, dash up over here. Get into high cover. Actually, she wasn't high cover. Oh well. One unit left, and don't you dare. Incoming fire! Now, something I do find strange. They pretty much get a close up on pretty much all shots now. So I'm used to XCOM enemy unknown and enemy within, where only the like insta kills or critical hits are the ones where they get a close-up animation. Now pretty much all shots, it's random what shots are going to get a close-up animation, so I never know, is this going to hit, is this going to hit, or, ah, phew, it's just a miss. Alright, I think you can flank him, so we'll move him up here. Rolling. Close enough. Shot in the back. No longer a threat. Right now, where do we want to move you? To here. On my way. Let's get the doctor moved up. Back to here. Dash you up that. here. I've got eyes on an advent position. <sighs> Oops. Oh, well, yeah, actually, it looks like we might get a sense of just about. Oh, wait, nope. Half an hour is already passed. No, wait, no, it hasn't. Wait, are you flanked? Where would she go? Can it go? Can it reach that far? No, of course not. Okay, um. Where do you want to move you? That's gonna have to be good enough there. Can you see? But no one worth trying to shoot, so. I'm on it. Overwatch and. Got it covered. This can't go my control. Oh no, reanimate. Yep. They make zombies. Luckily the zombies don't know how to use their guns. Oh, you're on Overwatch. Menace one five, be advised. Hostile interceptors are inbound on your current position. Firebrand has a limited window to provide extraction. You got a grenade. Use it, cause that'll stop the Overwatch. Bombs away. And kill him. Target. Who else has a grenade? You do. Yeah, 
and you. I'll move you up here. Here. Understood. Moving out. I want to blow up his cover. Did that reach him? Come on. You can do it. Oh, wait, wait. There it was. I saw it. Come on. There it was. Come on. Come on. I oh, wait, wait. There it was. Come on. Just do it. Wait. Got him. Bombs away. Got him. And kill him. Yes. It's down. All right, so you. Get moving. Move up here. Watch that. Oh. Come get some. Headed there now. Overwatch. On Overwatch. Good copy. Moving on target. Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. Heading to that location. Overwatch. Oh, I thought I was an alien. And where's the other guy? I'm on it. Okay. That was a bit delayed. Wait, where's the... Oh, there's the extraction zone. Can I get up there? Yes, we can. Now, this is something I like. To... Wow. Scientists are quite agile. You don't have to have any action points left to evac. VIP secure and in position for evac. This is Firebrand. VIP is secure. You move it. Running. At this point, we just need to make them all dash, and then bye bye. We're out of here. Uh oh. Uh. Sorry, guys. Uh, explosive got a little out of hand. Now. Moving out. Getting it done. Oh right. I guess he didn't dash. Moving out. I'm all over it. Okay, he's gonna need to get out of the way first. Packing it in. And here we are. We're, we are out of here. I'm gone. I'm gone. Evac confirmed. You're out of here. Flawless, flawless victory. So, as you guys can tell, mission accomplished. I've gotten much better at this game. I'm not an expert, and I know this is still the, the early stages of the game, but it's still easy. But I've still gotten much better. Now, let's just see what they have to say once we return to base, and then we'll call this up this uh we'll call this a day. I like that. Successful percentage job. 100%.
you know, we'll get back to, uh, not Sky Ranger, but the, uh, Avenger. We'll see what promotion. Look at him with a smug little grin there. Him and his shades, looking so smug. Yeah, they're all feeling pretty good about that. They ain't rookies no more. Yeah, those kind of look like aviator glasses, or just if he's a pilot. Yeah, he likes that. Yeah, he was looking at you, kid. All right, there was a top power coils, additional ten percent or ten. 10 plus increase. Hmm. He looks a bit like a kid. Actually, I think he's got the same glasses as me. Same glasses as me. I need to enunciate better. Our victory, everyone gets a promotion. Expectations while working with limited resources. You get a promotion, and Impressive. you get a promotion, and you get a promotion. Do we also get a pay raise? Now let's not talk about that yet. Another sharpshooter. Ranger, Ranger, please. We got a Ranger. Yes. Lexus. Alex, wait, Alexi Dobrinin. Dobrinin. Okay, now that you're a ranger, those glasses actually look pretty good on you. You know, I was just joking before, right? You knew it, you knew I was joking. Alright, now, here's where you get the decision the combat protocol or medical protocol. So, with the medical protocol, Essentially, what you do, long range healing. Combat protocol. Long range, well, I guess long range damage is regular damage. But this one is a guaranteed two damage. As long as she has line of sight on the enemy, she can deal two damage to the enemy. Which is great when the enemy is on overwatch because any damage will throw off the overwatch. So... We're gonna go with combat protocol. We'll get a battle combat, uh, medical protocol later. But we got another, we got another uh, uh, specialist. So we'll go with combat right here. Next we have... The grenade. Now what have we got? Blast padding and shredder. Okay, so we've got here attack and shred armor. We'll go with this one. Blast padding gives you defense against I think just explosions mostly. We'll get rid of armor. And that's our team. Considering the limited resources available to you, Commander, you have still managed to exceed my expectations. Excellent work. Thank you. Thank you Increase for sending additional support staff to assist me, Commander. I will make sure they are put to good use. Again, that sounds kind of creepy. If I met him in real person, I might be hesitant to trust him. Anyways, we've been picking hope up you some guys weird oh, transmissions shut up. lately. It sounds a little like German, but it's hard to tell. Shut up, Central. Anyways, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode. And uh, hopefully I'll see you guys again soon, but in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening.
good night.